guys, my name is Kylie Blunia. Welcome if you are new with us. Welcome back if you've been here before. Um, I am just getting in the shower. And I figured what a great time to show you guys my entire shower routine. Because I've made a video like this prior, but everything's changed since then. And also, I was going to shower anyway, so it's perfect timing for you guys. Um, my hair looks kind of great already without showering. But there's so much product buildup in it, it's ridiculous. So, we are going to wash all that out. Plus, I'm really excited. I just got this new shampoo. This is the Viral. It's like the Celeb Luxury Shampoo. It's like a color depositing. And it's a light pastel pink. So I want to see what it's going to do to my hair. And that's so exciting. One of you guys actually recommended this to me. And I bought it because I'm so excited. And I'm going to use it today. If you guys like have products you enjoy or things you want to see, like let me know because I do read all the comments and I love it when you guys leave me suggestions or just little notes. It's really cute and it's really awesome. But uh, let's get in the shower. Um, so it's been a couple days and honestly I'm very upset. I recorded this like kind of cool thing of me being in the shower and using everything and then I just go to edit it and I hate it. Looks terrible, the audio sucks, I can't. So, these are all the products that I use in the shower. For my first shampoo, I use the Maui Moisture. This is in the Hibiscus Water Shampoo. It's lightweight and hydration. This is the first shampoo I do, and I do use my Pacifica Scalp Brush, which is this guy. I use this every time I shampoo. Just really gets in the scalp and really works it, which is awesome. For shampoo number two, I just double shampoo my hair I have for the longest time. It's just super good for the scalp because then you're really getting in. I use the Joico Defy Damage. It's a protective shampoo for like colored hair. It helps, it helps color longevity, but it also helps with like the damage that's in your hair and reducing that. Today, I, the, so at the time of filming this video, I actually tried a third shampoo, which was this viral color shampoo. The direction said to wash it like normal shampoo and then instantly wash it out i put this in my hair and then left it in for about five minutes i think it did a great job i think the light pink color gives it that like weird vibe but i really like this consistency was really nice and it colored my hair after that i use conditioner this is the defy damage protective conditioner love this stuff since i've cut my hair i have not used like a hair mask or anything like that just because it's so short that sometimes I like don't really know what to do and that's okay I did not at the time of filming this but I do like to always leave this as an honorable mention this is my detox scalp scrub from way this stuff is so good they also make a detox shampoo for this guy it's literally just like scrub and I'll like section my hair like every inch or so and I will just rub this bad boy all over it and it like suds up really nice and it washes out so nice and your scalp feel amazing. If you don't exfoliate your scalp already, I highly recommend it. This is great and this is the mini so it's great to try it out. And it lasts forever. For body, I'm using this like rose scented soap right now which isn't labeled. I think I got it at like a farmer's market or something but it's really nice. I really like it. It's almost done, and then I have a bunch that I got for Christmas that I'm using, which are all like that same kind of like, just kind of like scented soap vibes. So, very exciting. And then after soap, I go in with this SkinRx Even Tone Cleansing Bar. I'll use this on like my inner thighs, my armpits, and like my knees. And what it does is it's basically helping get rid of all those dark circles. So, I really like this stuff. And it comes with its own little sponge. So it's super cute. And then as a body wash right now, I'm using this Sweet Spots Lab in the Fragrance Free. I do not like the smell at all. It, it kind of reminds me of what like vomit smells like. And I mean that in the nicest way. Like Sweet Spots Lab makes some other products that I really like. Like they make this um, like sensitive spray, which is really nice. And like they make this cream, they're more like vaginal health, but this is not my favorite one of their products. It's probably just because it's fragrance free and I don't like it. 
So I don't have sensitive skin, so I don't actually need anything fragrance free. I think next time I want to get that strawberry one from TJ Maxx again. I think that's my favorite body wash I've ever bought. As an exfoliator, I have like this little handmade exfoliator. It's a little blue heart. Um, I got this for Christmas, which was very kind and it like takes off the dead skin so easily. And then for like feminine care, I really like the honey pot stuff. This is specifically for sensitive skin in the foaming wash. I think anything for sensitivity is better for down there. But, you know, everyone's their own person. But I really like this stuff. Um, again, I'm so sorry that this clip got messed up. But I really hope you guys enjoyed everything that I got. So let's go back to the original video. I just got out of the shower, which is literally so exciting. So now I'm doing my skincare routine. Um, this is the toner from Sun By Me. It's the H-A-B-H-A-P-H-A 30 Day Miracle Toner. You guys have also like seen the rundown of my skincare and it hasn't changed since then. Um, my shower was so good and I am, I was in the shower for so long that I am now late to start my day. So that's fabulous. I love, I live for it. This is only the second time of me washing my hair since I've cut it so short. And honestly, it's so like fun. It's so fun. Because, like, it's not too serious, and, like, I can, like, play with it. Like, I put it up in a spike, like, one big one. That was so fun. My skin has been kicking my butt lately, so I am just, like, trying to keep it a little bit light tonight. Me and my sister are going out today, so that is so exciting. And she's bringing her boyfriend. So, it's all very fun. We're going to our favorite place, the mall. She's very upset because I went to the mall last week without her. So now we have to go together. Except I don't have any money. So I am not going to buy anything. And that's my goal. Ugh. If you guys have not tried the Bloom Cream yet from Beekman. It is so good. And they make it in like a small one. That's like 15 bucks if you really want to like try it. But I swear it's the best thing I've ever used on my skin. Also, about an hour ago, I realized that I don't have a nose ring in. So I'm assuming it fell out last night while I was sleeping, and I have no idea where it's been. Sunscreen is always a must. You guys are not wearing sunscreen. Wear sunscreen. It's like the biggest thing you can do for yourself. Figured while we were doing this, I would show you guys my new updated hair routine. So let's go. So I just took the towel off. I'm just gonna put some Verb Ghost Oil in like my hair very lightly because now I'm scared that it's gonna make my like ends look too oily. But it literally never does. I always flip my head because it just gives me more volume. And then this is the 21 Benefit Spray from Curology and I just spray this one in my hand now as well. And then do the exact same thing. Um, so far, I'm liking what the hair mask did a lot. I'm so excited to, I'm going to go blow dry it. And then we'll see what it looks like. I am literally so late. Like, I was supposed to be there at the time that it is currently. It's 11.12. It's 11.15. And I'm supposed to be there at 11.15. And I'm not. I'm here. Because when I show up, I'm going to look phenomenal. This is the IGK Beach Club. Their styling products are some of my absolute favorite products on the world, in the world. This is their texturizing spray. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna add a lot of texture into my hair and I'm so excited. And it smells so good and I'm almost out of it, which stresses me out, but it's fine, it's fine. I always like to pull Kind of like the mullet in the back out. And low-key like twist it up. And I really just work it in. When my sister cut my hair. My sister cut my hair. I don't know if I told you guys that. I think I did. Um, she showed me how to style it in like so many different ways. Which is so fun. And I've been doing ways that she didn't show me. And just like having fun with it. And this is so much fun. This is dirty. 
the cream from the styling cream from Lush. My sister told me this is the one she used. So in turn, I was like, this is good. And then I bought it because she is always right. And uh, that's the way it should be. I kind of just tuck the sides in and go up on the top. And it's very like squared. And then I just kind of pull back. My hair is officially all done and um, I just had to choose my outfit and that was a stressful experience. I literally just locked this in with hairspray and yeah, that was pretty much my entire shower routine and kind of how I style my hair as a routine. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was something really different and I don't really do this stuff very often. And I feel like I've said this before, but I've been trying a lot of things that are semi out of my comfort zone and trying to push myself in a different way. And I'm just really proud of myself. And I'm really happy and proud that you guys are here with me to experience all this. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.